Right friends, welcome back to editorial discussion. Today is 8th January. This is the preliminary discussion on 10% quota for the poor. More and more articles will appear in the days to come. We will have once more detailed discussion on this aspect. Today we are going to deliberate what are various aspects and how to view the decision. All these things we are going to deliberate in the discussion today. Right? 10% reservation to economically backward sections. That means in the general category, 10% reservation will be provided to the economically backward sections. And please do not forget, they also cover those from minority communities. And please do not forget, all of you are familiar with the reservation of 15% for scheduled cash, 7.5% for scheduled tribes. 27 percent for the OBCs. So, therefore, all put together comes close to 50 percent. So, it will be over and above the existing around 50 percent reservation to SCs, STs and OBCs. So, with this 10 percent, the total reservations will go around 60 percent up to 60 percent. Right, and specific details were not available, but as per the Minister of State, those who have an annual salary of less than rupees 8 lakh per year and less than 5 acres of land, they will be able to avail reservations in educational institutions and jobs. So, as per the government, the eligibility criteria is going to be kept. And all the details are not available, but as per the available reports, annual salary of less than rupees 8 lakhs per year and less than 5 acres of land, they will be eligible to avail reservation in educational institutions and jobs. There may be other criteria also, right? All the details are not available, but what is important is how it affects Article 15 and Article 16. Now, the government is proposing constitutional amendment bill. Why? Why constitutional amendment bill is required? Because of the reason this requires amendments to articles 15 and 16 of the constitution. Have a glance at article 15, article 16. Here, if you look at article 15, 4, here, in fact, article 15 says prohibition of discrimination on grounds of religion, caste, sex, race, but nothing in this article shall prevent the state for making special provision for the advancement of socially and educationally backward classes. Very, very important aspect. Here under Article 15.4, there can be exceptions when the backwardness is social as well as educational backwardness. Right. So, 15.4 talks about socially and educationally backward classes. At the same time, 16.4 talks about exceptions when the caste or you can say when that particular group is not adequately represented in the services. Right. So, 15.4 when the reservations are going to be given on economic backwardness very important when the reservations are going to be given for economic backwardness for the general category candidates then naturally this will come in the way because 154 talks about social backwardness educational backwardness but does not talk about the economic backwardness but now the center wants reservations on economic backwardness and at the same time, this gives exception or you can say here nothing in this article shall prevent the state from making any provision for reservation when that particular group or particular category of persons are not adequately represented in the services. And this also will not be applicable when the government wants to give reservations to the economically backward classes in the general category. So, therefore, Article 15.4 is to be amended, Article 16.4 is to be amended. So, for doing amendment here, the condition is absolute majority with 50% of the total membership and 
टू थर्ड्स मेजोरिटी ऑफ द मेंबर्स प्रेजेंट एंड वोटिंग सो देर फॉर इन ए नट शेल टू प्रोवाइड रिजर्वेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एकनमिक बैकवर्डनेस वॉट रिक्वायर्ड इज इट हैज टू एमेंड आर्टिकल फिफ्टीन फोर आर्टिकल सिक्सटीन फोर सो देर फोर द सेंटर अप्रूवड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एमेंडमेंट बिल सो एज टू एमेंड आर्टिकल्स फिफ्टीन फोर एंड आर्टिकल सिक्सटीन फोर राइट फ्रेंड्स देन प्लीज लुक इन टू इट constitutional protection if you see social backwardness is included educational backwardness is included but economic backwardness is not included so therefore to incorporate economic backwardness now the constitutional amendments are required right friends now let us look at indira sahni case indira sahni case that is nine judge constitutional bench of the supreme court and that capped the reservation at 50% this is very very important aspect right so here the court ruled in 1992 about class 4 of article 16 with regard to adequate representation not proportionate representation right and one important aspect is the relaxation above 50% that can be done under extraordinary situations so therefore indira sahni nine judge constitutional bench judgment is in fact if the government implements this 10% it violates indira sahni case judgment of the supreme court which capped the reservation at 50% and which is said under only extraordinary situations it can be violated so therefore the government decision may be challenged when one looks at indira sahni case second important aspect is keshavananda bharati case the judgment all of you are familiar pertains to april 1973 and the judgment held that constitutional amendment which offend the basic structure of the constitution will not be valid that means basic structure of the constitution should not be altered right so neither the parliament nor the legislatures could transgress the basic feature of the constitution or you can say if 10% more reservation is given reservations will come to around 60% unreserved will be just 40% so therefore it may amount to sacrifice of merit so therefore it may lead to the principle of equality is violated so if you are looking at it from keshavananda bharati judgment somebody may say that if 60% is reserved 40% is unreserved then it may violate the principle of equality enshrined in article 14 in turn this tant amounts to violating the basic structure of the constitution so therefore indira sahni case this is the first one second one is this keshavananda bharati judgment which says basic structure of the constitution cannot be altered right friends these two issues are there for the time being as more and more articles appear we will discuss thread pair and before concluding this article tamil nadu has got 69% of the reservations and they are protected from judicial review by the 9th schedule but after the keshavananda bharati judgment this protection has also gone away so therefore by making reservations to 60% you cannot keep it with the protection under schedule 9 because judicial review is now possible for schedule 9 also whichever is added after april 24 1973 right so therefore there is every possibility that the proposed 10% quota may be challenged in the court and one more important aspect is articles 330 to 342 covers special provisions for certain classes and four categories are included there scheduled caste scheduled tribes backward classes anglo indians right so the constitutional promise is basically for social exclusion and discrimination or you can say for the social backwardness the constitutional promises social backwardness and discrimination but not 
economic backwardness. Now to include economic backwardness constitution is to be amended that is the point to note and it may be challenged when one looks at Indira Sahni case of 1992 and Keshavananda Bharati case of 1973. Right friends, let us wind up the discussion on this 10% reservations here. With this, let us conclude today's editorial discussion. Have a nice day. Thank you.